What's up guys, Dave here from HWPO Fitness. I am a motivational speaker, transformation coach, and qualified personal trainer. Um, why am I shooting this video? Because uh, I can't get my thoughts down onto paper quicker than what I can just blurting it out right now. And Facebook, you can have statuses. Picture this as my status update, just by video. And because I like videos and I like to learn through videos more than through reading and I feel that if there's anyone else out there who's like me then this video would probably do some good now before I start let me make two little points I understand that time is a precious resource it's the most important resource that we all have these days so if you are watching thank you for taking the time to watch my video and hear what I have to say Secondly, I am shooting this video standing up, so if you are sitting down, just do me a favor and hop up off your bum just for a couple of minutes, uh, because sitting is the devil and we all sit too much, so you should probably get up anyway because you've probably been at work now for a couple of hours and you need to get up and go for a walk anyway. Uh, why am I shooting this video? Because uh, I am fascinated by the change that's happening with me uh, mentally and emotionally at the moment. So I feel that um, it's fascinating enough to document as a video, which will act as um, two things really, one for me to go back to, to revise, and content for you guys. Um, so if there's any nuggets in here, then hopefully you'll get something out of it. This is a revised version. I just did a video for about 21 minutes. Uh, so I just wanted to go through the key points of today that I've learnt and uh, tell you where I'm at. Um, things that I learned today is that my sacrum is overloaded with the way that I sit uh, because I sit back and I slouch back therefore it brings all the weight back onto my sacrum which is your little tailbone bit down the bottom of your spine and the little sacrum bit can't deal with the load from your torso and your head and your chest so if you find yourself sitting back and slouching in a chair, don't do that because you're going to bust your sacrum just like I did. Uh, so no sitting for me this week. Uh, I feel really good otherwise uh, with my back. This is my third week of treatment uh, from the osteo and I have not had a workout in the three weeks, um, much to my, you know, battling the demons in my head, but I feel good for just letting my body rest and recover. So no more exercise for this week, unfortunately. Um, I'm allowed to do things like vacuum and mow, even though I did mow on Saturday, but that was okay. Uh, so no gym sessions, but it's gonna give me more time to work on this up here and to work on this to be able to get content out for y'all. Um, other things that I'm really excited about is two things that we're doing now. Uh, the HWPO podcast or the HWPO show is coming up. I stole that off Gary V because he says, let's start the show, show. So uh, it'll be the HWPO show is coming very soon. We're just waiting on a couple little things. Uh, we've already got a couple filmed, which we can throw up straight away, but we've got a few things that we're working on. So it's coming very shortly. Hang on for that. And I'm very excited to announce that Jules and I are starting a new 16-week uh, uh, body challenge, the ISA body challenge. I haven't done one in a while, and as a matter of fact, just between you and I, I've never actually finished one. So I'm looking forward to starting one and seeing it the whole way through. This isn't a video about accountability or anything like that. If I don't finish, I don't finish, but the fact that I'm starting, I will finish. Um, but the very important thing that I want to say is that it's looking like for the next 16 weeks there's going to be very minimal exercise. So the thing that I'm really interested in seeing is completing a 16 week challenge without any exercise whatsoever. There might be some walking in there, but I want to document to see just how for 16 weeks being as positive as I can and eating the right nutrition and um, and just being happy and positive as I can, the the physical and emotional, mental changes that's going to occur in my body. And this video is probably uh, going to be a way to get that out to you guys. It's already going on a little bit longer than what I expected, but hey, it's life, this is what happens. So yeah, 16 week ISO body challenge coming up, HWPO show starting very soon, and um, yeah, uh, a lot of things coming our way.
So if you've got any questions for the HWPO show, then email askdave at hwpofitness.com. Gee, Jules, I hope I got that right. Um, and stay tuned because I'm going to throw up some more videos like this as they come. I'm not going to force it. It's not going to be a daily thing. It might be a daily thing. It might be a weekly thing. I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm really intrigued about what's going to happen uh, over the next couple of weeks. And um, I hope that through this journey, you can get a little bit out of it. So thanks for watching. We're five and a half minutes. Have a great day, guys. Remember, HWPO. See ya.